Hi, it's Molly, and today we're doing part two of our How to Sing Musical Theater series. Today we're going to focus on legit musical theater, the musical theater sound closest to the Western classical tradition that really had its heyday during Broadway's golden age, the 1940s and 50s. It's the tradition that sounds more like this. The hills are alive. And less like this. I want to watch the world burn. Let's start out with the raised soft palate. As we've talked about before, the soft palate is the back of the roof of your mouth. Ah and is the gateway between your mouth and nose. Lifting your soft palate means that the gateway to your nose is closed and your singing is not nasalized. Here is a non-nasalized sound. The hills are alive. And here's a nasalized one. The hills are alive. To experience a high palate, I want you to take a sip through an imaginary straw and then hold that position. Did you feel that little lift in the back of your mouth? For legit singing, that's what you want. Legit musical theater does diverge from classical, though. First off, your larynx tends to be higher for legit than for classical, relatively mid on the scale from high to low. Raindrops on roses doesn't really sound appropriate, whereas raindrops on roses does. There are certain exceptions. Often, the villain, as well as the matronly figure, like Mother Abbess in Sound of Music, sing with a lowered larynx. So let's find a nice mid-larynx. Just sing on an NG sound and lift to a vowel. I'm going to do E. And what about here? And here? here. Finally, legit tends to be a little more conversational, whereas in opera, the human voice more closely mimics an instrument. I'm not saying that text and acting aren't important in opera, and I'm certainly not saying that beautiful trained singing isn't important in musicals. But it's okay to lose some of that classical resonance and much more stylistically appropriate to sing. How can I hope to make you understand? Then, how can I hope to make you understand? The legit tradition may be less prevalent on the Broadway stage than it used to be, but you still see it in modern musicals like Phantom of the Opera and Light in the Piazza. I'd be willing to bet that that style will come and go on Broadway, but never go completely. For the complete video, with a brief history of Broadway singing and lots of vocal exercises to get you started, head over to theinsidevoice.org. See you soon!